good morning dear student in today's lecture we are very much interested in the new topic of our course or new chapter of our course material science that is your ceramics so already we discussed the composite material cementitious material so in today's lecture we discussing the ceramic material so what is ceramics so we are very much familiar uh with this word that is ceramics uh the simple definition of this ceramics if you consider the simple definition the articles which are made up of made of of clay okay so the articles article which made of article which made of clay are mainly known as are mainly known as ceramics one more definition is there that is an inorganic compound the actual definition is an inorganic compound an inorganic compound consisting of metal consisting of metal or semi metal consisting of metals or semi metals and one or more and one or more non metal one or more non metals okay they are considered as a ceramic okay they are considered as a ceramic the first point of this uh, chapter ceramic is the word the classification of ceramics so at least you understand the definitions so, so whatever the articles which are made of of clay material are known as ceramics or an inorganic compound consisting of metal or semi metals and one or more non metals they are considered as a ceramics uh, if you consider the ceramics the classification let uh, discuss the classification this classification is based okay uh, on their use okay so whatever the classification we discuss uh, it is based on their use so classification based on their use so where these materials are used depending on they are classified as the first one that is your structural ceramic structural ceramics second that is your facing material facing material facing material third that is refractories refractories fourth that is fine ceramics fine ceramics and the last one that is the fifth one that is special ceramics special ceramics okay so this is the classification based on their uses that is structural ceramics facing material refractories fine ceramics and special ceramics so let us discuss one by one uh, every this material or every every point of this classification or every now uh, we can say that every type of this classification that is first one that is your structural ceramics so what is this structural ceramics the articles which are used for construction and related uses so the articles 
used in construction the article used in construction and related works and related works they are considered as a structural ceramics for example if you consider the examples of these structural ceramics they are building bricks building bricks then common bricks common bricks then brick blocks brick blocks then roof tile roof tile then drain tile drain tile so whatever these materials they are considered as a structural ceramics okay so this is all about structural ceramics let us discuss the second one that is your facing ceramic facing ceramics the articles are used so in this case the articles are used for external for external and internal for external and internal facing of buildings of buildings of buildings and structure and structure okay uh, for examples if you consider the examples of this facing ceramics they are the facing bricks facing bricks facing bricks slabs slabs and oven tiles and oven tiles so they are considered as a facing ceramics okay the articles are used for external and internal facing of the buildings and structures they are considered as a facing ceramics let us discuss the third one that is your refractories so what is refractories let us discuss the third one A refractories so what is this refractories are the material which can retain the material the material which can uh, retain the material which can retain their mechanical property their mechanical their mechanical properties at 1000 degree celsius at 1000 degree celsius or higher temperature or higher temperature these uh, materials are called as refractories they are used they are used in making in making various they are used in making various parts various parts of industrial furnace industrial furnace ovens and apparatus and apparatus for an apparatus for operating at high temperature at high temperatures so this is 
the refractory ceramics the material which can retain their mechanical properties at 1000 degrees celsius or higher temperatures and they are used making various parts of industrial furnace ovens apparatus for operating at high temperature let us discuss the fourth one that is your fine ceramics fine ceramics so what is this fine ceramics uh, the class include this fine ceramics include include porcelain wares porcelain wares and glaze glaze pottery glaze means the coating is there or uh, the material which is made up of by uh the clay okay it is considered as pottery products so uh, these fine ceramics include porcelain wares and glaze pottery so the material which is coated uh, or it having a certain coating it is considered as glaze pottery okay i include porcelain wares and glaze pottery again domestic ceramic includes domestic ceramics include dishes dishes wash basin wash basins sinks wash basin sinks decorative articles decorative articles it is so these are the materials are considered in fine ceramics including porcelain wares and glazy pottery domestic ceramics include dishes wash basin sinks and decorative articles okay and the last one that is your fifth one that is your special ceramics special ceramics uh this include so this special ceramics include this ceramics include articles articles with specific properties article with specific properties article with specific properties utilize utilize in a radio industry a radio industry aviation aviation means it is used in aircraft used in radio industry aviation aircraft and instrument manufacture and instrument manufacture instrument manufacture so this is the classification of ceramic material based on their use so they are classified into five types one is structural ceramic second facing material third refractory fourth fine ceramics and special ceramics okay. uh, so this is all about the classification of this ceramic material uh, if you search uh, for the classification and uh, on youtube or google then we uh, you have to get a different classification but uh, this classification it is based on their uses so uh, different types of classification of ceramic material is there so at least you understand the definitions and the classification based on their uses okay so generally whatever the classification is based on their uses in the next lecture we discuss about the remaining points of this chapter thank you